Hey, I think we're live. Looks like we're live. Hope you guys are all doing well. Figured I'd come at you with some comics. Just give me a moment here. I gotta figure out like which which one I'm streaming to. There we go. Let's go ahead and share. Oh, oh, oh no. Share to a page. We're gonna share here. There we go. Hope you're all doing well. Let's go ahead and uh, get to color. Um, I think I can like see comments and stuff. But I'll check back every so often. Uh, again, if you do leave a comment, I apologize if I don't see it. But uh, I think it'll let me know. I assume it'll let me know. But uh, yeah, so we're going to color a bunch of panels today. Um, again, I'm, I'm using the same uh, same setup I usually have. So again, uh, on the top layer, I've got my line art. When you hide the line art, you get that. I'm going to use this. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and color. You're actually going to... I'm going to lighten up the color of these blues a little bit. They're just a little bit too dark for me for right now. Um, there we go. Yeah, okay, cool. So now we got that. Let's go ahead and color his hand. I think that would be a good idea. Shit. Uh oh. Let's go contiginous. Just grab that. There we go. Control C, Control V. Ah, uh, that's why there was no color in that. So let's go ahead and throw, even though it's white, I need to throw color in it to be able to use it. There we go, because now I can just lay over my shadows. Uh, I like that color. I can lay over my shadows without having to worry about anything else. And I got to get my good handy dandy uh, uh, coloring. Pen. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Uh, again, it's the comics letter. I use Kyle T. Webster's uh, brushes. Uh, the brushes I'm using came with the Mega Pack. Uh, if you don't have the Mega Pack, do yourself a favor. Grab the Mega Pack because it's worth it. It is simply worth it. <laughs> The, uh, the brushes that, he, that he, he makes are just just some of the best. Like So if you're looking for more realistic brushes and like you're frustrated with Photoshop selection, grab his. Um, when I, I don't like that. When I first started doing it, uh, I thought the Photoshop brushes were pretty problematic. But as I've worked with it, I mean, about 90%, I don't know, we'll say about 70% of the... the Colors I lay down are used with those Photoshop brushes, but they can be a little bit daunting for somebody to use if they're a beginner, because like, it's very digital if you're trying to go for a traditional look. Um, that's why I, I, I initially went towards Kyle Webster's uh, pens, brushes, brushes. Those, that's the word. <laughs> I do like that harsh streak here, so we're actually... Let's open up that opacity a bit. Bring this back here. Yeah, I do like this crease. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how I feel about that. I made that lighten that up even more as we go. But if not, it's all good. Had to get my inking in for the day, so I figured, eh, why not do another late light inking? Hopefully you're all staying safe and enjoying your day. Sunday, the weekend, the weekend, I don't know. Weekdays and weekends matter much anymore, but it is the weekend. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm going to drop down the opacity even more. I like that. 
That'll work. Cool, 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 cool. I don't want to get too heavy on those whites because I think the inks kind of like say their story enough, you know? All right, let's, uh, I'm going to take another gray. It's a pretty dark gray, but I'm going to cut out his nunchucks here through here with some color. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'm going to grab the lasso tool. Uh, I'm going just normal noodly. Maybe not going normal noodly lasso. I'm going uh, point vertex lasso, 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 whatever you want to call it. There we go. Good paskies. <laughs> Good paskies. I like that. Oh, I don't want the minus. Always make sure you got the plus. Well, I mean, sometimes you want the minus, sometimes you want the plus. Just depends on what you're working on, and make sure you know that you're working on that part, right? I can't tell many how tell you how many times I thought I had an uh, a subtraction when I had the addition, or thought I had the addition when I had the subtraction. That's just that part is the most frustrating part. Is like switching up, making a mistake like that, because it's just like it, it can be kind of time consuming if you do it several times in a row, which I might have done. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, interesting. Um, oh, I don't even need to grab that yet. That's okay. Here, we're going to hit this. Go G. Oh, that's what it's on. Let's go back up here with it. Pa pow. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Right one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, how do I feel about that? Let's go ahead and darken that just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just enough. Oh, contingent. Sorry, man. I always got to make sure your tools are set correctly. It's an important part of the process. Kachowskis. There we go. There. I like that. Now we're going to go through in these red areas. And hit these off with uh, that same color. So I got my color picker. Go back to our vertices, our lasso collector, collect that. So I'm only collecting the red areas so I can be kind of like loosey-goosey with the other areas because my tolerance in my paint bucket is set at zero. So it'll only affect the color that I'm clicking on, which is a really cool tool. I love that. It's such a time saver too. Um, yeah, that looks. I, mean, I still really like this sort of area here. It's really cool. I dig it. I can dig that. Can you dig it? Here, let's also throw in the black right there. We'll delete it because it looks a little weird, oddly placed. Let's go ahead and just erase that. Came up to 100. Take it to the danger zone. Danger zone. You know? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's cleaner. That's easier to read. That makes it a bit tangential and, and hard to read, but it is what it is. I have to accept it at this point. Um, I'm also going to go through. We're going to drop down the saturation on these blues. They're just a tad bit, oh, come on, tad bit too high for me. So let's grab this and just drop down the saturation. And Apparently a lot, because we're going to lay a bunch of colors in there. Then we go through with this guy. We may have already used this guy, but I'm hoping not. And if so, if I do lay in the color and realize I've used it elsewhere, I can just change it pretty quickly. Right now I'm just selecting the spikes, so we're going to give it like a bone ochre type of color later. We gotta select all of them first. There we go. Cool. Let's see here. Wow. All right. Cool. Powered by. 
No, we're not going to have a triple threat. I don't know why it's saying all that stuff. Okay, oh well. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and keep adding on to this white. Might have been better to use like our noodly lasso for these, but it's all good because I'm like pretty much done grabbing everything. Just got to get these last two little spikes. Then we'll be set. There we go. Color picker. Ooh, that's a little too ochre next to that gray, too, you know? There we go. Yeah, it's a little too yellow next to the blue, you know what I'm saying? So let's grab that again. Let's drop in that saturation. Let's actually make it a little brighter. There we go. That'll definitely make a difference overall. All right, so now let's go ahead. I'm going to color this guy, the hilt of the sword, a little bit. We're going to grab our colors here. Usually I go to, like, multiply and do, do it on a multiply layer. But since we've already got the colors that I want to choose in that panel, we're just going to go ahead and kick it straight over, like, not even use multiply. I'm just using normal blend mode, normal brush, using Kyle Webster's comics letter. We're just going to throw in some shadow on that. It's perfect. And usually, again, usually I use multiply to get that shadow, but from here I've already dug in kind of some deeper colors that I use for my shadows so on the same object. So when you've already figured out what the shadow color is on an object, there's no point to really like, you don't need to like multiply it again to try to work it. I can grab it from here and put it over here to keep my color palette exactly the same which is a nice thing. You want to have that uh, uniformity in what you're creating. Wow, that looks cool. That's even better. And I'll probably go through with uh, the line art and probably lighten that up just a little bit too as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like that more. Part of me wants like this white streak, but it's already white. So let's play with this, the blue. That's what it's going to be. The blue is what's throwing me off. Because once we color this blue, we'll be able to kind of mold his arm fully and give it shape fully so it doesn't look as kind of off. All right, we're going to go multiply on this one because I haven't chosen, chosen, haven't chosen my uh, color. I probably could use go up here and pull it, but I'm liking this almost purple is purplish, purplish. Uh, look that I'm getting with this multiply. Let's drop it down a little bit lower just because I want I want there to be more of an edge uh, in some areas. And now we'll do another layer. So again, the way I do layers is like, this is my base blue. This layer is my base blue. I add a linked layer. The way I link it is I hold control, or not control, I hold alt, and I'll click it. So like, I want to link this new layer I made to that same blue Thing. So the only area my stuff is getting in there, it's a non-destructive way to throw in those colors and areas to keep it like a pretty clean without destroying anything. So it's always nice. I'm going to overlay some yellow here. Hmm, let's try white. <laughs> try overlaying some white here. All right, let's just make a new one. I like how it got lighter. It definitely got lighter, but we may just have to stick with a regular yellow. Kind of add that going through here. Oh, that might be too much. Yeah, we kind of got too much there. But we do want a bit more. Definitely want a bit more. Ooh, that's kind of working. Kind of like that. Give you more of a through here. We'll keep adding on to that, and I think it has to do something more with the glove right here, uh, more than anything else. But I like this little blue area right here. I can, I, I'm chill with it. I can handle it. All right. Here, oh, wrong one. Come on, work for me. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, throw in some color on the sword. So I'm gonna grab. 
this uh, shade from the sword. We're going to go back to our sword and our original colors panel. So when I hide this, I hide this, 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 you get that flat color, right? And that's all on this panel. So we're going to grab the sword, control D, grab the sword, control C, control V. Now the sword's on its own thing and I can link it. It makes your uh, layer, the amount of layers you have, uh, more. So it definitely takes up more space, like wise, on your hard drive. Like I'm already at 638 uh, megabytes, and I'm not even. Well, I'm just now getting past the halfway. So you got to be aware of that. But I'll usually, once I've completed how the panel looks, I'll condense these layers into this one. So it, we go back down. I go small size to big size back down to condensed smaller size. But I always try to keep it so it's non-destructive, and I can always change anything easily. Uh, I found that really helps. I, I can't even list how many times I've had to change small parts. And like, if it's a small change that you want to do, and you start going in and you, you start messing with it, and you forgot that it's a destructive way that you're doing it, and then like halfway through you're like, oh man, I don't like that. I should just go back to what I had. Well, no. You can never go back to what you had if you do it in a destructive way. So that's why I like to link my layers like that. Um, the non-destructive ways are the best ways. So if you maybe use my, my non-destructive way. Maybe you have your own way to non-destructively have a workflow. That's good too. We're going to grab the white. I'm going to edge in a little bit of white here. We're actually going to go to this guy. So I'm off, off the Cal T Webster. I'm just throwing in a, uh, it's like the, the base thing. Uh, it's one of your uh, default brushes that I use, the general brushes. These guys are my favorites, and then I'll use these guys too. But right now we're using him. in a bit kind of like that we'll go with that I think we need to get even darker too so let's go ahead and add this guy oh that's too much <laughs> that's okay now we're gonna throw because uh, he because I have the black line plus a very dark um, base color for the art warrior here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be throwing in very rigid highlights, but they're not gonna be like fuzzy. Like they're gonna have a very hard edge. Hard edged uh, highlights is essentially what we're gonna be getting. So let's go ahead, grab our original color, our flat color layer, duplicate gray. Link a new layer just to that gray color. A little smooth sailing. Usually I use a, I usually use yellow for my highlights, uh, and then if the yellow isn't digging right, I'll uh, just do a Control U that which brings up hue and saturation. I'll kind of mess with it there. You guys can kind of see what I'm getting for right now. I'm just, I'm just trying to cut out. The main edges of him. Um, I may actually go lighter or like maybe a more orange here on his leg. So I'm going to hit X to switch my colors. That way I save that color. Uh, and now let's throw an orange more on his leg so it doesn't. Okay, that's too orange. We'll try this one. Um, yeah, so I don't want it to come too much in front of this guy. You know what I'm saying? So. Here a little bit. Here. We'll switch back to our yellow for the belt. We'll go back yellow here. Cool. And the yellow here. And again, I'm just kind of giving his outline. I'm almost outlining him with the uh, highlights, but yeah. Almost there. We're going to go soft pen pressure with the eraser now, I guess, to ease out these orange just a little bit more. 
But I like that. Do you guys? Oh, I don't like the orange. Here. Let's bring it back to yellow. <laughs> but it really kind of cuts him out. You know? That cuts him out really well, actually. I dig that a lot. Cool. All right, so now that we got him cut out, we will add some color in here, add a paintbrush right there, uh, and then we'll play with our background a little bit. So going back to my main uh, flat color part, grabbing these guys, Control C, Control V. We're gonna throw in. No, it's not how I want to do that anymore. Never mind. Let's go right back into the background now. So I forgot that I color these parts just a little bit differently now. You'll see that as soon as we finish the background. Probably should have done the background first, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. All right. So got my colors attached. I like the red instead of the hot pink in this situation. Good to know. Uh, let's grab some, grab some purple. Also, we grab our purple. We'll bring it down to soft ground pressure, opacity, and flow. Kind of gives you everything you want. But if you don't want everything, don't use it. It's only if you want like everything. Ooh, I like that. How's that look with everything? Ooh, that looks a bit uh, fire. Uh, but what I'm going to do, so right now my lines are a little bit light. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's definitely coming together. Ooh, it's always cool seeing like the work underneath the lines, but uh, I'm gonna threshold my lines. So adjustments, threshold that just cleans them up a whole lot. Um, and then you can tell like especially here and here, it's not black. And like here, it's like 80% opacity, especially here. I like it through here, but not everywhere else. So I'm gonna go lock the pixels. It's kind of important. Shift F5, fill it all with black. Holy hot Toledo. For, after you do the threshold, you got to delete all the yellow. So if I go to normal right now, you can see all that. Yellow, white. We're going to delete all the white. Now you can definitely see that it's pretty uh, not black. So we're just going to fill it in 100% black. Now you see the normal view, which is what I want. But uh, hmm, I think I may want to go a little bit darker in this area, but not a whole lot darker. Uh, in the background, let's give it a shot here. Just the, the keys did not overdo it, you know? I'm going to try and multiply with just the brush. You, now I'm going to play with the colors a bit. Not only am I going to play with the colors, we're going to merge these layers first. And now I'll play with the colors, so now I can... Uh, ooh, I kind of like this yellow orange. Like that? Maybe. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like this more. Let's stay with this. Let's add just a, a, a little slight orange to it. Up here in that area. Slight yellow. Just, just the babyest amount of yellow. Not too much, just enough to say, hey, I'm here. That's like too much right there. There we go. Now from here, let's see what we can do. Not a whole lot, so let's go to image adjustments. Color balance. From here, you can like mess with the flow of the colors. Uh, sometimes I do this, so if hue and saturate, hue saturation, if that effect doesn't get me what I'm looking for, that's when I'll go to the... Uh, uh, that's when I'll go to the color balance. Um, it, it works sometimes. Like sometimes, like if I'm just feeling really off, and it's like, okay, it's not the overall scheme. There's just like a certain color that I'm struggling with. That's when I'll really go to uh, um, the. Uh, color balance. Brighter or darker? I'm going to 
kind of like in darker. Let's mess with that just a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go here. Oh, and we're in CMYK, so that is how that will look printed. I like that. I can dig with it. I can dig with it. God. Let's give this a bit, a bit more saturation to these yellows. Ooh, what if we went like here? All right, so let's see. Preview versus, nah, looks better with the yellows. Definitely looks better with the yellows. I want to find his hilt. It's going to be the last one, isn't it? Hilt? Nope. It is our last one. Hilt. Nope. Hilt. Hilt. Second to last one. All right, so let's go. I need to lighten this guy up just a little bit. Try, I don't know, like going higher. Like, oh, okay, let's up that saturation a bit. Yeah, it's not good. I don't know. Same. Look at that. I mean, that's that's a good. Let's go adjustments. Vibrance, that's right. You can't mess with that. So let's actually keep it there. Yeah, we're not going to mess with it too much. That's okay. Let's go ahead and throw in our, our big, big color splashes here. Me. So what I usually do on these nunchucks is I'll throw down a blue first, and then it's a sautés. But I'm not going to have the opacity going. I'm just going to lay down blue. 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 I'm going to try that blue again. I'm going to make my thing just a little bigger. There we go. That's what she said. Uh, I'm going to make my brush just a little bit. Um, now we're going to grab ooh, red. Let's go normal. Here we go. See, I want this one now. There we go, and I'm just kind of lava way up to kind of my inspiration on these guys. It looks like a little bit like mustard and ketchup here a little bit, so I'm going to have to play with it a tiny bit more. I think I just got my brush strokes actually a little bit too small there. And then we'll go through here. I'm going to add a second layer. Now we'll go back to this guy. Opacity. Let's pop it up here. Pop it up here. Pull it through. Cool. All right, and we'll do this one. I'm going to mess with the blending option of the... Chucks, because I like that a lot. And then we'll bring down this white glow just a little bit. That That's going to look bitching. That looks pretty cool. All right, now we'll grab, so we already did the blue, so let's grab our red again. Go back to this guy. Turn off opacity. Yes. Coming together now that we got like, and I figured it would come together once we had this going, but it's important to get it going. Yeah, that does look cool. I enjoy that. Go back up here, throw in a little bit of that white brush again, but like not as heavy. There we go. Yeah, that looks cool. Mm. 
mess with it just slightly more. I want to see a little bit of that color, but don't want to lose the shape. Cool. It's this part. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, this is one I want to adjust. Cool. We're just making it lighter. Let's make it even lighter. That works for me. Now I'm going to do a little fill layer, so I'm going to go underneath here. I'm going to go just the layer that's above the uh, – actually, no, we're going to take this even higher. So we're going to take this all the way up. I'm going to take it above my line work. Uh, we're going to get my noodley lasso. I'm just going to make kind of like a flame ball type thing. So we got that. We're going to fill it with green because I know I'm not using green at all. So we got it filled there, and now we're going to fill that with some paint trucks real quick. So I'm going to open a file that uh, I have that's pretty much a, a, a nunchuck painting. Um, and then i got to remember where it is, though. Desktop, maybe? Oh, no, it's in the Art Warrior. That's where it is. So I have some, like, just kind of, like, backgrounds and templates. Here's the main one I was looking for. I just love the way that the colors look in this one. So we're going to go Control A, Control Z, Control V. But then, again, we're just going to link it to below. And let's actually change the size so you can see a bit, a little bit more of those uh, fluid, fluid texture to it. We'll make it a good amount smaller. That way you can kind of see it, right? I like that. And we're just going to delete that outside area. So we're going to go here, W, Control T, W. Here we go. Now we're going to delete that from here. Cool. And since I deleted on this layer, it automatically applies to this layer too, which I always think is super dope. We're going to add a glow to this. So I'm thinking a green and blue glow. So we go here, we'll go about green. We'll go blue. And just kind of give it that look, you know. Give it, give it a, I want to blend it just a bit more. You know, I want to have it a smooth blend instead of two harsh things. Okay, so now we go there. Now we're just going to turn it into a glow. We're going to try to turn it into a glow. We'll see. Oh, it looks kind of... Eh. I just don't think I defined, uh, defined, defined the shape of this enough. E. There we go. It's in the game. You guys remember that? Esports. It's in the game. Cool. That's better. I'm going to cut that off. Let's actually use a different color. I think it might be the color that's showing us off a little bit. So again, go to hue and saturation. Pick up that one because it's probably going to work better as a glow. Let's see here. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. I'll take that. That works. Then we're also going to delete it. So I want people to be able to see these spikes a little better, you know? Cool. All right. There we go. That's better. I'm just going to pull this guy too. Just got to clear them up a little bit, give them a more, little bit more room to breathe. 
especially if I do it on the right panel. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Let's add some darkness here, some highlights and shits on, on the uh, trucks, but then I think we'll be good to call this panel good. Move on to the next one, I think. So far, it's mostly pleasing me. It may just be a little too heavy color-wise, like it may get, be a little bit too saturated that it's messing with our color just slightly. Like not a lot, but enough to where I'm like, hey, yeah. I think it's because it's not all uniform red. The red is definitely coming at you more than the blue is. This is normal. Hmm. Let's try a photo filter. So I'll just bring it all closer to that. From there, we can mess with it a little bit. A little more red. Let's not mess with the colors right now. You can even go lighter here, yeah? The yellow. Kind of really calling me, but. Let's go ahead and keep it here. Nope, let's not keep it there. Man! <laughs> Just trying to figure this out sometimes can take a while. Let's go here. Now let's try that photo filter. Sometimes it's just all about playing with what you're trying to get to. Hmm. Well, sometimes you just fight with it. <laughs> Normal. We're just going to leave it. So I do like just uh, almost like a flat red more, you know? Because there's so much red, red, red. We need to keep that red. That's for sure. Uh, let's see if we can maybe color balance it. Probably not color balance. I'm going to assume no. No go on the color balance. <laughs> so let's just hide that one because I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, let's grab his chains. Do some coloring on the chains. I think I'm going to throw in some lighter shades on the chains. Highlights, as most people would call them. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, yeah. That that just helps. Just brings them out a bit more. Um, but what we will do now is let's go ahead and throw some colors into this line work. That may be what's like really irking me. Uh, we're gonna hit up. We're gonna hit up the sword first because you guys know uh, we're like, like I was saying, I'm not super happy with how it was turning out. So not where there are points meeting, so like there's a break in plane, if you can think about it that way. I'm not gonna color it brown there, but when it's just detail on a single plane, we're gonna go ahead and bring it out just a little bit more with this brown color rather than the black. Black line art. Just got a bit too heavy, you know? We can actually delete some of it, like full on erase some of this. So give me a minute. Like these lines got a bit heavy. And here, you know, as soon as we start erasing, it's going to be like, oh yeah. That really allows. Allows it to oh, <laughs> allows it to breathe a bit. There we go. Cool. Now for their way, it's less dark. That's exactly what we're trying to get to. So, woo! <laughs> I can accept that. Here, 
let's see here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to throw in a little bit lighter in his glove and in his sword now. Because that those are the two area, other areas that are just a bit too dark for me. We're going through with gray because I still want this to be like the darkest point. That works out pretty well. I'm not going to hit up his fingers a whole lot because those are point, kind of plain breaks-ish, you know? But we will go a bit darker in this area. So I'm going to grab this one, pull it back through here. Let's go straight black. Oh, that's why our pace, opacity is so low. That will affect it. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I like how that eases it up a bit. Same thing. Here. I like that. Cool. Let's see if we can do the same thing with the blue down here. Nah, we'll keep the we'll keep it black. That does work a lot better though. I like that. Go square to black just a little bit in here. Just a tiny bit. Cool. It's all looking good to me. Now let's hit this background. We're gonna try a simpler black background with less uh, colors. Let's see here. Control C, Control V. I'm gonna throw just a darker red, like a crimson red in through here. And see if that was, and hope that, that was all we needed to do. <laughs> Usually it's not that easy. Sometimes it is. All right, let's go to this one. All right, so this red is not dark enough. We need to go a little bit darker. I don't have a pre made color in my swatches that gets the color I want. But. That's why we have a color picker. Hmm, it's a little too dark. We need a little fiery, you know? Nope. Let's try to pass it in. Cool, that works. Let's see what we can do with it. I think that'll work. Now, we're going to go back to our line art. We're going to use a white again. I'm going to hit up these little kind of like uh, action dashes with white. And I think that's going to help us achieve the look we're going for right now. I like that. Yep. That's just a random extra stream that I did, but this works. There we go. That's better. That way you can feel motion just a little bit more. You know? And this little string pissing me off. All right, there we go. That looks cool. Now let's merge these two colors. Let's see what we can work with here. This may be a little bit more palatable. Maybe the lighter works, you know? Let's go right there. That works. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to go here. So this is still my flat layer, so we're going to go ahead and merge just all these layers up until here. 
So up until my line arc, lock that again. Up in here, see how we kind of change it just a little bit. It changes everything, so I don't want that. Let's go here. Let's grab this full solid color. Let's see if we can change that yellow. Let's see what changing the yellow does. This purple hits more of that purple, so I like that a lot more, actually. And now let's go here, grab this, 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 and this. Looks from now, I'm not going to be too picky about it. Why is it only affecting that? Why is it only affecting that? Because <laughs> I was using the wrong one. That's why. Let's mess with our levels. Up the contrast a little bit. See what this does. You know, I'm kind of just fucking with it right now, but it wasn't feeling quite right before, so sometimes you just gotta play with it a bit. Why is that not affecting anything? Because I'm using the wrong fucking layer again. God damn it. <laughs> Let's try this again. Grab this layer. Go back up to this layer and now mess with it. Let's go here. Getting a little bit more of a, a textured feel to it. I kind of like that a lot, actually. We get some blue up there. It's just getting a little bit more color more in this panel because it was it felt a little uh, desaturated almost. Keep that there right now. That does look better. I think the background is still a slight issue for me. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. Just a little bit more. It's definitely closer to what I want. But if I can fuck with it just a little bit more, I'll be a happy camper. Let's see where this goes with us, for us. So this makes it more red, this gives us more yellow. I think it's yellow, to be totally honest. Then if we can keep that shadow pretty... Whoop. No, oh, it goes pretty hard pretty quickly. So let's do this. Let's actually go ahead and make this more red. Oh, what again? Adjustments. Color balance. Let's make the overall color of that more red. Here we go. And then I will make a mask. We'll throw a little bit of that orange in there. Me. There we go. That works, especially for further away. That's starting to work. Cool. 
you know what I think what it is? Is this, you see that shine? This nunchuck, I don't not be shining past the uh, sword. We want the sword to be in front. So I'm actually going to chop that out just a little bit. And it's going to actually make it more three-dimensional. Because usually I like the glows, but when we're throwing here, look at that. That sword just comes up like front and center now. I'm going to add another mask over that area and we're gonna we're gonna push and pull these just a little bit gonna multiply this guy Whoop, there we go that works better huh <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. Whee, I don't know about that, like white glow. Like it definitely gives it a shape. No, let's go for it. <laughs> All right, let's go to this one. This is a fun one. He's getting tossed. <laughs> let's grab this gray. And we're gonna throw this gray in. The this area and we'll, we'll keep going so give me a moment here on to the next panel i'm comfortable calling this panel done for now we're probably going to really fuck with the colors a lot but right now it's cool that, like it's we can say it's good it's chilling um let's go to this one because this one should be fine so i'm gonna grab this guy grab right nope that's gas mask Nope. Hoosh. Here we go. Right here. That's part of a chuck. And that's part of a chuck. Right. These areas. Boom. Just going to break it out a bit more. Now we'll go through here. We'll hit this area up. Oh. Oh. What is going on here? Okay. Let's see here. It's okay. We can just go in and. Come out. There we go. Usually you don't want to fill in areas like this, but DIY sometimes. <laughs> as long as it gets done, that's the important part. There we go. Cool. And we're going to go just a little, a little lighter with that blue. So let's go ahead and go here. There we go. We're going to change this blue to our light gray. All right. So again, you can kind of tell there's like color bleeding through in some areas. So let me fix just a couple of things really. Fix a couple things really quickly. There we go. Cool. All right. It's rad enough for me. If it's rad enough for you. Let's go ahead and add just our shadow and our highlights on Mr. Art Warrior Ninja. That will, oh, son of a bitch, really? That wasn't the same color? Oh, uh-oh, guys, uh-oh. If that happens, just change your tolerance. There we go. Gives me a little want. Just gonna subtract these non-check areas. I don't know why they got selected. Nope. Subtract. Subtract. There we go. There we go. All right. So now we're here. We got just him. We got to pull out, pull him out, and kind of try to show people how things are being formed right now, because that's important. All right, here we go. Let's do highlights first. So good, always connects your layers. Let's do the gray, just because not the gray, the purple. 
He's purple. Purple highlight because that's what I'm doing for him on this page. This will keep it uniform. And for this one, we'll go back to a uh, letter. Let's go ahead and turn on opacity too, though. Fuck that up. Cool. If you know anything about art, you're probably like, I should use the orange because he's around orange and not purple. And you're probably right. You're probably definitely right, but guess who's not changing that today? This guy. <laughs> Cool. That's starting to come together now. You can definitely kind of see who he is, what he is, you know? Cool. That's nazi. I like that. We're also just going to add this in here. That should have belonged to a different layer, but it's all game. There we go. So that's that's working. Yeah? Yeah, that's working. Totes my goats. <laughs> I can deal with that. I think this one's still bigging, bugging, bigging me. Bugging me, so I'm just gonna come back to it later. We're we're just gonna keep going. Uh, usually I'll do a pass. Like there's there's some things that bug me about all these panels, but I'll get like 80, 85, it's between 75 and 85 percent done, if not fully done with each panel. And the panels that I'm still struggling with, I'll get the whole idea of the whole piece, and then go back and see how I need to change what needs to be changed. Now we're gonna add some shadows in. Same deal. Let's go, let's go straight black. Okay. That's kind of working, actually. Cool. I dig that. A lot of black lines, but that's okay. Just to ease my mind, let's go ahead and threshold our line art. Delete the white from it, and then we'll go normal. Block, Shift F5, Enter, because you always want to make sure you do that. Boom. Cool. That's helping me. All right. Now I can see more. Now I understand what I'm going for. Let's go grab this color too. Oh, see, that's not black, so we can't grab it. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's all right. I'll have to sop, so, soften, soften up some of that line work, too, in him, because he, he's already such a dark character. And let's see what adding just a sliver, like, I mean, a sliver of yellow will do in some, orange will do in some places. Nope, mash is way too much with the background. Cool, good to know. All right. Uh, I think that background's going to be changing, but oh well, we'll keep it safe. Let's go ahead and color him now. Um, it's good having these reference, reference, references to work from. Before, let's 
go back to this guy. Let's let's make a couple adjustments. Let's clean up some of our colors a little bit. Pow, there we go. There's that. Let's clean that up. Put this guy back here. Pow. Right now I'm not being picky with this edge because when I'm done, I'm just going to go through and cut like cut the edges, clean the edges, but I don't worry about that until the very end. But as a rule, I try not to go out of that border because it just visually looks really weird. So I, I try to make like the things I'm not super picky about still be kept to a visual minimum, you know? That kind of helps. Definitely helps. Come on, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and start coloring him. Whee! I'm gonna add shadows in first. That's what I fucking thought. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, Tigenous red. That red is the same as this red. I didn't know I'd done that. Well, that's okay. Oh, it is also. Let's go ahead and grab a couple more of these. So, again, you can tell there's some areas. So, we're just going to go through with our handy dandy wand. Catch them all. Got to catch them all. Program them all. Let's clean up these areas a bit. There, Kachowski's. There we go. There we go. So if you do have to do some of these touch-ups, uh, make sure when you do do the touch-ups, touch you've got your opacity at 100%. So there's no like fuzziness or opacity changes because when you use your lasso and your, especially your uh, paint bucket. Have that capacity or tolerance at zero. That way you can catch everything that's the same color really easy when you're putting in uh, those colors. But now that we're good with there, fix some things up. Let's go and try this again and select a different. Nah, motherfucker, I forgot the reds contiguous. Uh oh. Hey, uh oh, we got way too many issues going here what is going on why is this happening okay okay all right so we still have a lot we need to lasso but that's okay there we go Just trying to get all the entire inside of the character. Um, it's super important. So the reason why this is happening is, shit, yeah, colors. So you can see some of this. That might have been me, but you can see some areas where there's some fuzziness when the colors are laid in. So that fuzziness gets picked up as a different uh, pixel. So when I try to use the wand on things like that, it's not going to pick it up. So that's why we're going to have them going through. And you can't see it because all the imperfections are hidden underneath that line work. But when you go to print, that can become uh, an issue. Like it, it, it can affect the quality of your art. There we go. Now we're gonna add in because let's to grab everything here. Now we're gonna subtract this here because that's a nuncha. Alright. Cool, so he's collected. We don't need this. We don't need that. Don't need that. 
Cool, he's been collected. So we are good to go. Let's go ahead and start. Working on him now. Yay! Alright, we're going to add in some shadows first. So I'm just going to go here, grab this color. Go back to uh, Comic Letter. Turn on op opacity, opacity. I don't know how the fuck you say it anymore. I don't even care. There we go. Kabow. Word. I kind of like the blue for the shade of the cape as well, so let's go ahead and keep with it. that right back in just a little bit. Just a touch. Cool. I don't want to get it too dark, you know, except that it's sweet. This color does work for a lot of things, though. Like for different, because like some colors that work for shadows on like, say, uh, the color red may not work for the same shadows when you try to go to the blue, so sometimes you have to fuck around with it a little bit. Like, I don't think it's going to look good on the gray. Um, yellow is okay. It's a bit too... It's a bit too gray, if you ask me. Yeah. So let's go ahead and go more brown. Yeah. I do like more of the brown here. Yes. Ciao. Now we're rocking and rolling, my dudes. There we go. Sweet. Cool. I like the feel of that. Let's go through. That's right. We can't touch that. So I decided not to bring that into my uh, inclusion. Hmm. I wonder what I was trying to say right there. That's okay. Sometimes you don't remember. That's okay. Huh? I like most of that. I'm just gonna erase, erase. God damn it! Erase a little bit off the top there. See if it'll work on the glove. Uh, it blends in too much with the art wear, so let's actually stick with brown for the gloves. Um, usually I don't do, well, let's go a little bit gray. Usually I don't do brown on gloves, but at the same time, I don't want him to get lost inside the art wear. I think that works, all right. That's all brown, because I think I, Erase some of that. Yep, that definitely did. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's looking good on him. <laughs> that don't work. Let's add another layer to this. For the metal, we'll have to go multiply because it's so dark that any of the colors I'm trying to use for my shadows will just come off as like, it's a highlight. We don't want it to come off as a highlight right now. We want it to come off as a shadow. There we go. That looks a lot better. Now let's add some highlights. I'm gonna be more picky with the highlights because I want him to appear closer to the hip. He should really come forward as he goes back a bit. And we'll kind of push him back some more with uh, the coloring of the line art, I think. See how that goes. Um, let's see here. Let's go with yellow. Let's start off with some harsh yellow highlights. Because what's better than yellow? Many, many fucking things. 
a lot of things. So that's one color I, I, I'm still not totally the biggest fan of. Is yellow. Schmellow. Regular schmegler. Hmm. Maybe orange. Let's try an orange. Orange. Okay, let's try white. Let's just see what white does. What will white do? I may just go with white to edge out some of these areas. Usually I try not to use a whole lot of white. Usually I'll try to keep it just to like yellow and for highlights. But if it requires, like probably on his cape, I think I might, I might do a different highlight. But like shit like this, tassel on the tasselsons, you need some white. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, let's go more with that. Let's see what orange will do. The, here. It might work. Back of it. That could work. I'm not saying no to it outright, you know, right away. Don't know if that's the right spot for that color. Let's try up here. Nope. Definitely needs to be right through there. Maybe. Yo, here. Let's do this. Nope. Wrong type of eraser. Cool. I like that. It's a little soft. You can still see there's a change in it. Let's go ahead and do the shucks. Do some line work and then let's actually do the sword first. Sorry. You gotta sort it up, my dudes. Sweet. That was an oh no. That was an easy selection. I hope. <laughs> so today we'll grab one of these that we used before. Still on our comics letter, which is good. Get a little bit of that gray that's on the sword. It's right there. That I was going to scroll around forever looking for. <laughs> a little bit of white. Let's throw that through here. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. Cool. 
go for slightly darker. I like that more to be honest. There we go. Cool. Let's go ahead and grab him. I'm gonna see if we can mess with him a little bit. I don't know how I'm feeling with it. I feel like we can fuck with the contrast just a bit. Yeah. Exactly. You guys can see there's a bit of a slight change, you know? I like it more, definitely. Those slight changes do eventually add up, especially if you do like 100 slight changes. 100 slight changes make a completely different piece of work, so uh, that's kind of the ide ideology I'm going with right now on this. So the... Chucks. Let's do the Chucks. Big moves out super fast. Um, grab my gray, light gray. Got my noodle, noodle lasso. We're just gonna noodle lasso these spikes. Just give them that base color. I don't put any color in the spikes. I just make it a flat color, but it does help me. Fuck you. It does help me to kind of. It helps with the art for sure. Like that that immediately puts it forward. It's its object. You can see it. You know. Uh -huh. Cool. So now that that's essentially put together, let's mess with the background. It's definitely the next thing that needs the most work. I'm gonna make sure it's contiguous. There we go. Now we can go uncontiguous. And I will need to square this. All right, so let's go ahead and go through. Again, just like always, there's just a little bit of space between some things, so I wanna make sure I grab that space. There we go. This will work. This, the select the selection will work for right now. Good. And we'll lock this next layer. We're actually going to go dark first. So let's go here. Let's build this whole area up. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Don't give me anything that I can work with. I do like the purple. I like that purple a lot. Let's go ahead and go here. Yeah. Merge layers. All right. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and work with it a bit. So, all right. Merge, not merge. Link. Multiply. So I'm going to bit on the edges, be really gentle and careful because I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this. <laughs> so I don't want to really fudge myself over. That works. Yeah, it's kind of coming together a little bit. Oh. Hey. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> we'll be a little bit more gentle with how we do that. Alright, that brush is way too big. Can't do my washout effects that I like to do. Cool. So 
We multiply on top of that layer. That's normal. I won't multiply. There we go. Is that looking okay for me? That might work. Be slightly more gentle as I get less gentle. Do is also this. We're going to put a shadow underneath him now. Try to put a shadow underneath it. That works, but I don't like the rest of everything else in that panel. what these look like when they're merged. Let's see what we can get. Put it darker. Too dark. And I'm lost. Here we go. Let's try that again. That works. Multiply. Let's see what we can do with this side again now. I like like the watercolor effect, but it's like the mid's just a bit too big. For what we're trying to get. Let's see if we can dark it out a little bit, you know? Oop. Ah, I know. Oh well. Part of the process. Sometimes you lose work that you like. Too much, too dark, because it gets it's it's connected to that sword. That's why. That's better. Need a bit more light, a bit more darker in through here, dude. I love the watercolor of this so much. That's looking cool. We're kind of just layering in at our own leisure, like I'm taking my time to layer in these uh, colors. That does look fresh. Fresh till death, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I think mean, this is looking really cool. This is starting to pick up now. How does that look without it? With, without, with, without. Let's 
see what happens if we just mess with this color. Move it a little bit lighter. Hmm. Well, let's try this. Let's tighten that up a little bit. Just a little bit there. There we go. That works. Now we'll pull that shadow back in underneath it. It will be a harder shadow. It's too purple though. We want our gray. That's too gray though. Let's go normal with it. That's why. Let's go purple again. There we go. That foot should actually be part of him. So we're just gonna. Oh, that's right. We can't do that. Let's go really dark with it. There we go. Now let's go back to this layer. Throw in our shadows. It's going to be a little bit more precise with these shadows. I do want to hint at this guy's shadow a little bit. So we'll bring in more. Who did that? Did that work? And just kind of soften those edges a bit into his shadow? No, but it almost works. And let's soften up a little bit. Nope. I don't want to go too hard, but at the same time, I don't want to go too light. That works. I like that a lot, actually. It's looking fresh. I think we might put a little bit of yellow back here. Oh, oh. There we go. Now it's starting to come together a bit. That'll fuck it up. <laughs> That looks ill. Get a slight impression. Cool. Let's make him a little bit more, uh, when I say him, you guys, let's make him a bit more uh, popping out, you know? I don't want him to fall into this background. Let's see here. Is it lighter than it needs to go? Yeah, let's, nope, might be lighter. Let's mess with his levels a little bit. Let's go overall. That's darker. <laughs> Overall, come on, dude. Let's go a bit lighter, but then darker here. Will that affect it? Huh. Nope, wrong one. 
Let's go you this time. Let's see. Messing with some colors will help us. What if we go darker? Lighter's not working for us. We could go. Oh, that's lighter. Again. Dark. Go back to our hue and saturation. Hmm. Like, I, I definitely I feel something. You know what I'm saying? Like, something's just slightly off. That's close here. Um. Let's see what we can do here. Can we make aren't we darker? We can try that. Let's see if we can make him darker. Too dark. <laughs> If we made him lighter, does that kind of help? Not quite. Definitely like him darker. Oh well. Um, I think that'll call it t for today. Uh, just trying to get back in the swing of things. It's been a little while for sure, if you guys can't tell. But uh, I'm liking how these kind of turned out. You know, I like I like the watercolor effect that I got here for sure. I do like the colors too. And this is. It's that background, man. So there's some things bugged me, but I mean, it's been a little while. It's been a few days since I got been doing the color game. Yeah, I gotta get back into it. I'll just keep keep going at it. Um, we'll see where it goes from there, but it's on a path, that's for sure. Well, thanks for tuning in with me, guys. I uh, hope you all have a good rest of your day. And uh, yeah, we'll call it that. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.